Crystal Palace found out very quickly that the step up from the championship to the... Kiara Keating starts in the Barclays Swimming Super League for the first time. While Manchester City gets us started in this Barclays Women's Habit at the back. They can expect some pressure. It will come. Certainly it will come if they pass the ball. Careless behaviour though that Crystal Palace can ill afford at the back. Midfield towards Mikato. And now Blanchard who is so often a game changer for Crystal In the Women's Championship, 11 goals in 19 games for Annabelle Blanchard. Working the ball around, trying to get things going here. Hasegawa and Lauren Hemp moving across to a more familiar position, finding Ohabi. Now Bunny Shaw and Jill Raw trying to work. The Manchester City rather toying with Crystal Palace. Uh, as Jess Park. Hasegawa. Lee Woodham has lost it. Really nicely worked for Manchester season. Face more shots on target than any other goalkeeper. Now Hasegawa. That's a wonderful pass. Wonderful pass forward by Greenwood. Rod has made a good run too. She was well tracked. Cuts the ball back. Hasegawa quickly champions. Now Hemp with another chance to have a run at Crystal Palace's defence. Bunny Shaw again is the target. Ohab, one of those where all of her teammates looked around in complete disbelief. Wonderful strike. Well, now Ohabi. Chance of the game. It fell to Bunny Shaw. Didn't really catch it as perhaps she would have liked. And Manchester City chasing the game. Bunny Shaw for the Crystal Palace goalkeeper. And uh, match day two, 4 0 defeat to Tottenham Hotspur to start the season. In, and there was nobody there waiting at the back post. Hasegawa, Hemp, quick. The England under 23 international with a brilliant denial and turns it back here in the direction of Fugino. Her cross, target with the pass. And Hemp. Hasegawa, Manchester City being very patient here. Fugino makes the darting run, the cutback. Picked up here by Blanchard after the touch from Mikato. And Swede on the edge. Trying to make Manchester City make mistakes at the back. Hasegawa so... Sagawa looking in Hemp's direction, finding her with the pass. She can turn and she's on her way here. Lauren Hemp sends all of the Manchester City players knew what was coming as Lauren Hemp drifted in field. Kasparai uh, turning well away from danger. Ayla Rahabi finding Hemp. And Hemp is on her way again, delivering in another cross and finding. But again, Manchester City. Just lacking that clinical touch. Able to bring the ball under control. Lovely touch. Blanchard waiting for it in the middle. It won't get there. Greenwood's head up. Back with Bell with the ball. And Gibbons has lost it. Lexi Potter providing the option. Woodham's delivery. And it was a good one as well. Crystal Palace players are making their move. It's Greenwood with the header away though. Manchester City. Had quite work out Not on this occasion. Fugino now running at Gibbons. Hasegawa 
at Jess Park. Linking up nicely with her teammates and Hasegawa dances for instead to go wide here towards Hemp. Hemp darts, then lifts one in towards the far post. Gino turn it back in. Harvey has Hemp and had ruled ahead of her too. Leila Obhabi and Lauren Hemp combining the ball in. The opening half an hour is the second. Crystal Palace will see this as complete where that she played in the most recent matchup in the Barclays Women's Super League against Aston Villa. You would have uh, back linking up with Leila Obhabi. Side to side, Manchester in the middle of the pitch, moving across from the left hand side. Leila Ohabi out on the left, she delivers, it's a good looking ball and Imp is keeping the move alive, Greenwood joining the attack gets the give and go with Rawls, Hemp again quick Kennedy's touch is uh, a heavy one Does now Hasegawa, Bunny Shaw, Fugino, well it was really slick for Manchester City say the least gets a rare touch and now Hasegawa Otto another who had a really busy international break was with Sweden's Ohabi and Lauren Hemp again delivering in another cross Fugino onto Park Park tries one from range from Jess Park But Jess Park just seemed to know. She knew this was landing in the corner. Yanez at full strength on the attack. And she lifts in. Very quickly looking for their second. Okay, here comes Stengel. Blanchard. Running into Hasegawa, whose work rate here. Chance for Crystal Palace to build something before half time. Stengel again to Fugino. Hemp again going for goal. Hemp just before half time delivers in. It's been a really accomplished first half. Park trying to poke it through. Asagawa. And now Fugino. And Bunny Shaw. Well, Manchester City's impressive start to the season continues. Manchester City won. Away we go then for the second half. And it's, and it's Crystal Palace who needs to respond herself. Yet to face. Fugino wanted the ball back and the ball arrives. Mark, who is probing again. Poking wide. Fugino's delivery. Good cross and a wonderful save. Chester City. This looked as though it was about to. Head into the corner. Leila Rohabi into a crossing position. Bunny Shaw there. And this is the chance to make it to... ...from last season. She's looking strong. And so are Manchester City. Who make their dominance pay. Line. Big part of whether or not they can. Greenwood's ball punched away by Yanez. It will drop for Leila Rohabi. Yanez under pressure. And Woodham also under pressure, losing the ball. Hasegawa tangling and winning it. 
with a positive mindset, I'm sure. Here's Lauren Hemp darting into the area. Lauren Hemp still. Another cross in and another he loves. And she managed to get the touch, but she couldn't find that far corner. Number 27, Here comes Hemp. Spinning, looking to cause trouble. Arvidan's ball is a brilliant one, and Stengel in a good position, but she's taken. Final matchup in the group stages. Manchester City. And the first to go will be Lauren Hemp. Been in sparkling form. And she is replaced by Chloe Kemp. Another of the England contingents. Done it here. Roared onto it. And now Chloe Kelly. With the European Championships coming up in the summer. Looking for their chance to pounce. Keating comes. Not the best of punches away. This one that Annabelle Blanchard. Fell. That's some interesting results at the top today. Vidan is marching and delivering and Palace rattle the post at division to pick out Stengel a ball that any striker would want and Keating was well so the game had escaped them it might be about to now Park lays it through and here is Jill Rawd Look <laughs> Chloe Kelly she delivers right Leila Rahabi trying to get in on the act, brilliantly done. With real power. And yet somehow, the Crystal Palace goalkeeper has managed to keep hold. <laughs> Kelly perhaps a bit more difficult than they needed to. They might be in, they're looking for goal number three here. And for Gina... and tenacity though and she's won it here and found Bunny Shaw and she's turning and looking to find some room for an angle Your Rod manages to get clear of the challenge now Chloe Kelly quickly moved on to Park Park looking to turn provider this time with Manchester City have their Kelly into Park then the perfect ball and look at this Brilliant makes the race down into the corner. Looking for her second of the afternoon and still going. Kelly. Pushing for more here. Manchester City. Hasegawa. Solid afternoon of work for her, replaced by... The Barclays Women's Super League last season. Heading towards a clean sheet here. They have played six games when Chelsea have only played four. Chelsea involved for the season they've only dropped points against Arsenal and maybe about to concede here well there was a chance Palace again with a chance to go for goal Molly May Sharp going for goal unable to find a teammate in the middle 
Kelly. Now Bunny Shaw. First time delivery from her. It was slightly behind Bunny Shaw. And then the effort from Hasegawa is Leila Rohabi. And her effort is well blocked. Here comes Hasegawa. Kelly with a chance to burst. And Kelly fires up to completely dealt with here. And it's fed in and kept alive. Manchester City remain unbeaten in the Barclays women's side. And it finishes here, Crystal Palace nil, Manchester City 3.